Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Kind of Funny Games. My name is Kyle and this is Tim. Tim, mm -hmm. today we're playing uh, an N64 game on Rare Replay mm -hmm. uh, via Xbox One, of course, Rare Replay. Just came out of the Xbox One, 30 games, $30. Very cool uh, collection. We've already done a few videos celebrating some of the earlier games. We went to the N64 era and didn't really know which direction to go in. Mm. Uh, we could have gone to Jet Force Gemini. We obviously can't do 007 or, or Donkey Kong or any of those kinds of things. But we did land on Banjo-Kazooie. Now, it's yes. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, of course, came from Rare during the N64 era. This is the Xbox 360 port of Banjo-Kazooie, so it is a little prettier and it's in widescreen and all that it's kind of stuff. It's a lot prettier, Colin. It's I'll tell lot. you that much. Yeah, so here's the thing. I never played Banjo-Kazooie. I said this a long time ago on an episode of Gamescast when we were talking about ukulele, that this is one of the games that I missed out on because my, I would have loved it. I loved 3D platformers. Sure. I still do. But uh, my parents just didn't buy, me, buy it for me. So I remember I rented it from Blockbuster once, but that wasn't really enough time for me to get into it and like beat it. But it was enough time for me to, to realize that it was very much a collect-a-thon and that I did not enjoy that right, as much right. as uh, some of the other games out there. And Rare, obviously, pretty well known during this era for having Collecticon kind of games. Although, that's not unique to them. I mean, I feel like everyone was trying to fill these new 3D worlds they were making with something like... <laughs> these worlds were very vacant. And I mean, it's even like, what Mario you... 64 had yeah. its moments sure. of collecting. Sure, so I don't I, hold it against it, but... No, no, but it's just I think it's just a design aesthetic of the time. It's, a, it's the way that these games were designed. It's like, you know... Did you collect these seven different kinds of things because we want you to explore the world and have a reason to explore it? Like, what you know, what does this ex what does this place exist for if not to get that bolt? Yeah, you know. Um, so, hmm. oh, why can't he grab onto things? It's annoying. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so yeah, this game came out in 1998 on N64. Obviously, this was this came out so about four years before uh, Rare was purchased by Microsoft outright. So this is one of their hmm. last independent games, um, and uh, it's well loved. Uh, got it. Got a you know got a sequel in Banjo Tooie, and also that nuts and bolts game. Although I don't really know anything about that game. Yeah, I don't either. How do we get up there? Do you think? I don't know. I wonder if you need something. Some other type of thingy thing. Because mm -hmm. like, I don't think I have a long jump. I just have this like backflip jump thing. Can you backflip and then use the glide from from the the apex of the back back jump? No. No. Hmm. Okay. I'll we'll come back to that later. I'm supposed to go up to the top of the mountain so this little dude will help us. The guy that looks like Portillo. Yeah, yeah. All right. He's yeah, he, does, he really does look like Portillo. Just right. as dumb. So, what's cool, you were saying that it's upsetting that it doesn't grab the, the things. Right. Which is a more modern game mechanic. Sure. What I like a lot about this is that this is the Xbox 360 version, so obviously it's prettier, but also you can use the, the right stick to... Control the camera. Be a camera, and it actually, like, works. So you don't have to use, like, the, the, the C, C buttons, buttons. Uh, on, the N on, that, on that ridiculous, cumbersome N64 controller. That I still, I, I never once understood why it existed. But right. it, it, but it, it made sense for some of those games at the time, and we took for there you go, we took for granted some of the, uh, some of the cool things that the N sixty four controller could do. Although I still think it's one of the most unusual and unorthodox and probably annoying controllers ever made. Mm -hmm. um, water looks pretty good. There's yeah. a lot of like interesting design choices in this game. Obviously, the sky is kind of just it is what it is. Not not a lot going up there, but mm -hmm. they they have both. They have both structural depth in terms of the geography of the game as well as um, textural depth, which I think is pretty cool to make the, the, the world look lived in. So it's not like Mario 64 that was really very blah Just, looking. Yeah, a lot of random things everywhere. Uh, but again, obviously they were they were Mario 64, and not to take away from or diminish Mario 64, they were the first uh, to kind of get off. Did and, this and game require the expansion pack? I feel like it probably did. Yeah, because I know that uh, Donkey Kong 64 did. And I think Venture 2 we did. I, well, I feel this like one didn't. I, I honestly feel like with rare exception, by the time you got pretty mid and late into the N64 rare era, exception? Or, yeah, with rare exception, uh, unintentional pun. Uh, I feel like a lot of the most important games did require uh, after a while that extra that extra. But did ran. it? Because I, I feel like there wasn't too many that even supported it. Because I know Perfect Dark, uh, Majora's Mask, Majora's Mask required it. Yeah. Donkey Kong required it. Some games didn't require it, right? But it it were there games that. God, I can't remember. I, I guess that doesn't really make any sense. I'm trying to think. Were there games that were made better by it? But that doesn't make any sense because N64 games didn't really have load times or anything like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Still need to erase my save game because I keep talking to him. Portillo, you're a mean little fuck. Oh, there's bottles. So the one cool thing about I, I think about this game, not that it was it was on par with some of the other games that were trying to do similar things, was that it wasn't the game. Had a kitty aesthetic, but I still feel like it was a game kind of for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but that was kind of the N64's thing, was that it was a, there was a lot of, you know, things for kids that I think were kind of deeper than you, you let on, than, yeah. than, than were let on. 
So here we go. I guess this is Mount Spiral. Presumably, I mean, that it's very literal. literal. It's spiral, yeah. Very literal kind of I thought I had to get up there. I was, mm, I was overthinking it. There's broke ass Portillo face. Not, he's a mole though, so he's obviously yeah. not Portillo. But just that face in the bottom left corner yeah, looks. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like Portillo. Portillo in the goggles. You should go for that for Halloween. Oh, right. so you're gonna enter this 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 layer here. I'm gonna fight me some Gratilda. And I feel like we can learn a lot from older games because they didn't have a lot of space to really for exposition and to tell stories. But the games just get out of their own way and just let you play. Yeah. Which I think is nice, and then gives you little pieces of story. So it's not just like story, 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 story. Then you get to play. It's like a little bit of playing. Little I don't need no background about this world, you know. I'm good. Yeah, just like, drop who, me who in. Really cares. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, you fat hag! My brother will come, I'll kick your butt. All right, I'm just getting this. No, I'm not. Guess I can't. But what's up with her? Why is she all squished? I think she just can't fit into that space. Oh man. Yeah. I don't know why she this game didn't have the expansion there. pack. That's no. the problem. If it did, she'd be fine. Not enough verticality. Uh oh. <laughs> I like the voice, I like the cop out voice acting from this era too, where we're just like, <laughs> I was always found that a little annoying. It was even worse on the SNES. I love that Nintendo still just does it. There's this painting here. Is that like a Mario 64 throwback? Yeah, I was gonna say. Here. Uh oh. Nope. It looks like you're gonna slide down that later. Puzzle piece. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Go and find a picture with the piece missing. Will do, sir. Getting jiggy with it. Good lord. Sound like Goofy there for a minute. Yeah, uh oh. I told you, motherfuckers. <laughs> is, it, is that the way you came? This is yeah. from whence I came. Here, All right. To the right, I think. The only possible way. Flowers growing inside this cave, very impressive. Oh, I guess this is an outdoor area, though. Okay. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with... All right, there it is. Yeah, this is really just like Mario 64, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Goggle boy. Alright. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There you go. Yay. That's it. The picture's complete. And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. I got a flash little sign. Her voice. <laughs> Alright, so here we are, Mumbo's Mountain. Alright. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. Alright. Look at that. Bull. Uh oh. Pretty good looking. Anywhere. Oh, jeez. Damn. Just fucking with the ecosystem. Yeah, fuck them all. Need my honeycombs. Right. Need my music notes. There are so many collectibles. It's like, what is all the world? Yeah, like, do? <laughs> got my puzzle pieces, got my honey note cones, got my music notes. It is weird playing with the, like, a, a modern controller, because, like, the analog feels just a little bit off. Yeah, it's always interesting to go back and play games with, with, with a uh, hardware that wasn't really meant to play it in the first place. But for a lot of people, this is the first way they ever were introduced to this game. Mm -hmm. Ten of us on each world will help you produce so many things to find. Why? Who's putting all this shit everywhere? Yeah, see, I remember this is where it lost me. Get jiggy. Get jiggy. Achievement unlocked. Some knowledge. Tora. The talent trap will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. I see. Mm. <laughs> I enjoy this. 
See, this reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. Mm. Which makes sense. There definitely isn't the real line between their games. What is this fucking right. guy? There's so many goddamn collectibles! What, what's his What's his name? Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Gingos on each world. For all to get a I like this because she's faster. Why would I not just do this always? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely fucking faster. Some more music notes. Now, what are the music notes do? They give you extra lives. I'm assuming they're like coins, like just generic coins. Let's get a hundred and see if it gives me a life. Sure. So it probably will. As gaming design yep. dictates. Oh, got another, another Jinjo. Jinjo. <laughs> oh. This game's cute. All right, let's go. Got enough notes to break the first note door. The fuck is a note door? Okay. Some eggs. Chimpy hungry wants orange now. Be chimpy. Oh, fuck yeah. you, chimpy. I yeah, ain't your mom. Yeah, what the fuck? Chimpy. You think it's the same monkey from the big tall mountain level in Mario 64? It's definitely nope. not. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, damn. I want one of your oranges. Wait, go. Is there a switch on the other side? Are there only two switches? Ah, uh, there we go. Don't touch Conga's what? Blocks. Clever hmm. bear. We're the one just wantonly throwing oranges around like an idiot. Kazooie just eats puzzle pieces? Seems good for my digestive system. Oh, okay. There you go. Where's Chimpy? Conga, you don't own this goddamn place. Yeah, come on. Okay, making progress. Oh, Chimpy like Conga's orange. Chimpy help fat bear and bird. Damn, talk shit gets shot. I love how big a deal these puzzle pieces are, though. Are those eggs? It looks like, yeah. Great, really? I I, I was just thinking these. we haven't found a new collectible in, like in the last two seconds. I wonder. All right, how do I get up there though? There you go. Oh, nice. the answer to everything, Kazooie. All right, Patello, teach me some new shit. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. No, Kazooie can talk too. Some Birdo shit right there. Oh, shooting out from behind. Sounds like Yoshi. Alright, shut up, Portilla. Okay. My god. Meanwhile, the real Portilla's here somewhere being like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. What is Portilla? What are you doing? Where are the eggs? The eggs can talk, why does everything have googly eyes? What is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. To me, Mumbo's token. Used for Mumbo's... Ma How many goddamn collectibles are there in this game? It's starting to piss me off. Okay. I just sh pooped it out. That's it. God. Tell me about you piece of shit. Hmm. All right. But up, when you went up to that place where you got the eggs before, did you go up the other ramp that was on the other side? There's like another place you didn't explore, like where that pillar is. I wonder if there's anything there that you need. Or is there nothing there at all? Yeah, it looks like there's nothing even there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh god. This one's oh, got you fucking. 
Let me save here, but I can't hit conga. Except I can, motherfucker. I just gotta figure out how to shoot these eggs. I wasn't really listening. Alright. No, that's the poop. <laughs> Stop! Right. Stop pooping! There we go. I didn't even hit him! Damn. I don't know if you know this, but uh, that's the model they used for Donkey Kong later in Donkey Kong 64. They learned a lot from Donkey Kong 60, or f f from this what? game for Donkey Kong 64. What was that? That wasn't even an animation. That was just like a camera thing. What are we supposed to do now? Why does he look so stupid? The noises are funny. Oh, Lord. Like, you hit him once, but, like, what are you supposed to... There you go. Like, what is... I don't understand. There you go. That was weird. There ah, seemed like there was a glitch yeah. there. Bear be Kongam, you give prize to bear. Wash. I, I love the sound effect for the. I want to make that like my text tone. How many times are you gonna have to hear that goddamn noise? <laughs> uh -huh. I told you, motherfuckers. Alright, let's see if I can run back up here. Wait, how do I. Right. I like Kazooie. Yeah. I'm just kind of a punk ass bitch, mm. but Kazooie's the homie. Oh! Got a mumbo token. So many collectibles. Just endless amounts of collectibles. Something will happen. We're not. Get full life now. Oh, those are lives. All right, cool. There's Scorch Phoenix again. Our friend Scorch Phoenix. That spelled Phoenix wrong. I really bothered him. Oh, I was already up here. All right. Wait, what? How did that happen? Oh, that's how that happened. So there, right over there. with nice blue stones. Are those Lumbo thingies? <laughs> Just knock that dinosaur the <laughs> fuck out. Right. Let's see. No, it's your eggs. I'm gonna poop them in your mouth. Oh, no. Is it going? I think so. I mean, those two, I thought, definitely went in. Unless they just disappear. Hold on. <laughs> just to feed like three or four to each of them. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I think there's a puzzle piece up there, too. Yeah, I saw it. I don't know if we can get it yet. They really hate each other. There's a lot of there's a rivalry here. Yeah, a lot of animals. There's, a, there's 
there's an animosity in there. I don't quite understand. Got it. Mumbo time. Mumbo number five. That's all game. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain, Mumbo. Sitting in your fucking cave, doing yeah. nothing. Hate you. Alright, fine. Be like that then, my bro. So we need two more. I missed them. Oh. Damn. Damn. Just fucking straight clobber. Not bad, dude, Mr. Googly Eyes. You got no patience for that. There's one. Sweet. That was what was fun about these uh, these guys' yeah. games too, was like just turning the camera around sometimes reveals something interesting that you missed. Oh god! Nice. Oh. Oh, there's one of those coins. Those oh, that's the thing we actually need, yeah. Alright. Cool. Show them these. Get the Mr. Jinjo. Why would I ever be Banjo? It just doesn't make sense. Okay. Knock this fucking raptor out on his head. And Barney looking motherfucker. Alright. There is something satisfying about finding shit. Yeah. I don't know, like, we make fun of it for being collected on it, and it is, but... There's something about it. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, we're not talking shit about it, it's just, oh, like, it's man. funny how many things there are to collect in this yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, there, it is, it, it's kind of absurd, but... Jinjo. Get that motherfucking fool. One more Jinjo out there. What's under the water? Is there something in that cave underwater? Yeah, probably. I don't want to mess up this bull's day. Damn. Dude didn't even do anything. About to get punched. Do you have to do the ground slam on it? To me. Do you have to use the leverage? Yeah, probably. Like Come on. Oh, what? He's just so happy with his music. I don't even want to hurt him. He's just trying to be a bull. You know, I'm just trying to mess up his day, you know? It's so not cool. Yeah, get him to come closer. Oh, God. Not worth it. Yeah. Stupid ball. He's gonna kill you. Some bullshit. Uh, I'm, I need to go get some honeycombs. I'll be back. Alright. Underwater dive. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem like there's much under here on these notes. Controls seem a little cumbersome on the water. Yeah. I'm also just going really slow. <laughs> huh. Well, that sucks. 
I don't need those notes. Yeah, this game would speak significantly my OCD. I wouldn't be able to not collect everything. Yeah. Like that, those notes being... I know. Bo it it kind of bothers me, deck. too. All right. There was something out there. I mean, the bolt means one thing. Kazooie time. She can do whatever the hell she wants. Or not. Stupid Kazooie. Thought you were good for something. You think maybe the bull has the last... He could. Let's go. It's possible. Anything's possible in the world of Banjo Kazooie. There it is. No. Okay. A little trial and error. Must be a lot for that bird to handle, you know? Big old bear. She's strong. It is a she. It is a she, yeah. Do you think there's some sort of romance between the bird and the Probably. And the bear? There usually is, you know. They, they say the bird and the bees, but really. The bird and the bears. Birds and the bears. Nice. Great. Something else. The, it's another collectible the, that we don't the know. Honeycomb that is not filled in with honey. Should we wrap it there? I kind of want to find the last skull. Do we gotta do? We're doing it. Okay. We're gonna find it. You have to assume it's probably in that. Oh, all the enemies respawn. Jeez. It's probably where. In that in that animal. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. You have to assume, right? Do we have, have we seen everything else in this world? Oh God. No! 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 What's I was trying to shoot him. But that's how you shoot him. All right. Hmm. What? There's no consistency. Give me a honeycomb. There you go. Hmm. What? I guess you can't kill him. Seems like you can't kill him. Stupid bull. Why can't you kill him? What kind of video game is this? Hmm. There you go. Do we explore on top of these things? Yeah, that's how I, when I first got this power. Oh, okay. On the first skull around here. Oh, we'll get those draw distances. Yikes. <laughs> um, okay. When we killed the ants, we went up to that village. I hate how the enemies respawn. It's confusing. But it's kind of status quo. What's off the cliff that direction? Did we go down that direction? Right here? So yeah, that's where we were. Oh god, it's the beginning of the level. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Oh okay. god. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, wall damage. Alright. That's all that's underwater is those, are those notes? It seems weird. I would grab all the music notes yeah. here just to make sure. It might unlock some other collectible. That's kind of corny if that's all that's under. God. Damn, that's it. Hmm. They do give you a lot of time underwater. Yeah, but you also move 
very slow. All right. I feel like he has to die. Yeah, there must be a way, right? Mm. Is there no other attack? It's just gonna give you. I'm just getting an orange, yeah. It's stupid that that resets. Like, what? we already did that. Really? I need to do like the whole oh thing. Oh my over? god, what should call it? Yeah, now I'm done. Can't even deal with this. Uh, Tim. Yeah. That was Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, let's know in the comments. What we did wrong. Where we made our mistakes. Well, let's know what we did it right. For yeah, that's too. That too. Uh, remember, this game can be found on N64, but you can also find it on Xbox 360 and on Xbox One via Xbox 360 backwards compatibility via the Rare Replay collection, mm. uh, which we appreciate uh, Microsoft sending us very much. Uh, remember, new Let's Plays every weekday at 12 noon on YouTube.com slash Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm enjoying this.